Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. All right, we're at Hamcation 2020. We're sitting down with Mac with CW Ops, I believe it is. Mac, the reason I sat down with you is I would get strung up on a tree if I didn't uh, talk a little about CW here, because a lot of our members back home are good at CW. But I'm new. So why would somebody that's just gotten his ticket just two years ago, hasn't learned any CW, why would I still want to learn CW today? That's a form of communication that, that hasn't gone out of style. It was probably the original form. Uh, voice and AM, AM came along. Now we got digital, but there's still a lot of people who would like to master the art of learning Morse code. Yes. Uh, it's a it's a thing you do in your head. There's no computers inside. It's all. Um, success of application of energy and practice. Um, it's been taught for years. Ways to teach it include what we use is different than the way I learned it. I, I'll describe it. When I learned it, it was more a uh, Boy Scout method. I had a yellow pad, I wrote the graphics on the left side, uh -huh. and then the I mean, the alphabet on the left side, then the graphics for those characters, and I memorized them. Right. I created a memory database. What happened was, when I would hear Morse code letters, I'd have to stop, think, look up my database, what was that? Slowed me down, okay? But I did get to the 20 words a minute, past the extra exam. <clears throat> Uh, obviously, I had to work hard with listening to audio tapes because we didn't have computers at that time. The result was I learned it, but I didn't use it much because I was, my brain was still doing the lookup tables. I got an opportunity to participate in one of the CW Ops classes in the CW Academy, which is fairly new, uh, maybe five years, six years old now. Okay. And. It was organized because there were a lot of hams that wanted to improve their skills. Mm -hmm. And we also wanted to bring people into the fraternity of, of radio telegraphy, CW, whatever you want to call it. And so we created the CW Academy. And that's where we train people, people who don't know any code, never heard of any code. Right. All the way up to and through learning that 25 words a minute. So I started about the Boy Scout method, which was, for me, uh, a, a mistake, but I didn't know any better. So what I had to do was relearn the code by sound. I, you, we teach recognizing characters of the alphabet and numbers by a sound. Sound has a rhythm. Right. Okay? Uh, the rhythm doesn't change whether you're doing five words a minute or 50 words a minute. It's just a different Compressed. Time. Right. So you train your, yourself through practice. Uh, this is the, in our course we call uh, practice the work. And I always tell my students the only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Okay. So you got to pay it. And, and it, the benefit is they learn it. Right. Everybody learns at a different level, different pace. Um, but it, over time, you can reach the same goal. Uh, so the, we encourage the students to set the goal and work for it. You work on your own time anyway. Uh, and your practice time is maybe 45 minutes a day. Okay. You get up in sections. Uh, the, the military used to grind it out. But everybody's got a life in this group. <laughs> So break it up, um, and then ultimately we're, we're able to teach people to hear words, uh -huh. 
first of all, it'd be small words, two, three, four letter words. They'll stand up. And then you just do this by listening. Listening. Um, later on, these words will begin to form into something relational. The dog barked. Yes. Some simple thing like that. And in fact, a lot of our, our teaching, we use uh, material from English as a second language because it's very simple student structure. Okay. Okay. Easy to put into a text file and then play it on a, a software player. So, all these different ways, but it, what we're doing here today is having it fun. And we have fun with it by copying call signs and have it making it competitive. Uh, both in terms of speed and accuracy. Right. Okay, you might be the fastest dog in the park, but if you're going the wrong direction, that won't do any good. Think about the Titanic. If the operator was sending his latitude and longitude, um, and he wasn't sending it well, or the guy was not receiving it well, right. who would have found it? Who would have found it? Yeah. So, it's important, accuracy. Uh, what else can I tell you? The Academy was created and we have four levels of training. Previously we had three, but now we've got four. The first level is for the beginner or somebody who hasn't played with Morse code in 30 or 40 years. Okay. Which happens. So we run them back through, they get they learn the sounds of the characters, pro signs. Uh, we teach them just the elements of a QSO, like every every QSO, <coughs> besides the contest, has a beginning, middle, and an end. Like, yes. Like a letter back home to mom. Huh? What happens next is, after they have that, they get somewhere around eight, nine, ten words a minute, skill level built up. So we've created another level called basic, and the students go from level one to basic, and then they practice learning things like how to put sentences together. Not, not difficult. Um, we call it add a word, drop a word. Okay. Right? So, but we're, we're doing a round robin in, in our Zoom classroom. Everybody gets a chance to send, everybody gets a chance to listen. And if you hear, did it, da, da, did it, that means I didn't understand that, send it again. So they learn a little communication skill to go, to go in this. After after basic, or at the end of basic, they should be somewhere around 15 words a minute. Oh, okay. Advanced. The next class is called the intermediate. The advisors will take these graduates of basic and work with them and bring them up to 20 words a minute. And they'll do a lot of other things. They'll do call sign copy. Right. Uh, they'll get on the air. They'll, they'll, have, they'll talk to each other on the air. You know, it's a reason we've got a license for so we can transmit. Yes, sir. Um, and then, then the uh, fourth level is going from 20 words a minute to 25. That's the uh, that's the speed everybody wants to get to. Not everybody, not everybody. Because it's useful in, in uh, contesting. A guy can who can copy 25 words a minute will copy and make more contacts than the guy who can five, ten. So you contribute to the club school or something. Exactly. Like that. Uh, having a conversation at 25 words a minute just, just takes less time. Than talking to somebody in ten words. Right. You know how much time you got available to have fun with your radio? You can have two contacts instead of one. What else? Um, so, is it easy for a club like Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association to collaborate with the CW Ops program? I think so. Uh, it depends on what what your objectives are, what we have available. And uh, have you ever done uh, like if we have a monthly meeting? Have you ever done like a Zoom to uh, talk about the CW Ops program? I've done it. Okay. Um, I've even appeared in person on some some club, but I'm quite a ways. I live in near the Atlanta area, and I would probably do better uh, if I did it with a Zoom presence. Right. I do Zoom myself on my classes. So. So yeah, it, it's we're very flexible. We want to do anything to help get more people active in, in CW. 
uh, it, you've heard of use it or lose it. That's, right. That's what can happen if we don't use the CW portions of the van. And not only being fun, it's a skill. It's a skill that you don't lose. So you can't buy it, but you have to, you have to earn it. Mac, I want to thank you for sitting down with me today. My pleasure. 73. 73, you too.